Certainly tunnel vision and a bit risky Although now setting up be further behind the house So to provide cover from anti-tank guns At this moment I have in fact suffered heavy losses myself Barely any infantry teams on the field And this is what I rather call the reckless bit of it all Since while I did manage to cause heavy losses to the British I myself have suffered heavily And he's going for the commando doctrine just like the Saba the Hut did, so I'm going to be sa f certainly facing some of these same issues. And Pioneers moving in with flamethrowers, causing some losses to the British. MG42 opening fire, although it's I hopefully pull it back in time since it's a bit exposed right there in the middle with a little cover to aid it. And I have only support teams right now holding the line, absolutely no infantry, although now my stormtroopers are on the way again. British still busy regrouping and recouping. Has provided front line troops with only three sections, in fact now out of, I be do believe at 1.5, two having been completely lost, which is actually quite a lot of manpower since that's about 900 manpower, in fact, plus of course any other losses, and we have a Stu 42 Sturmhaubitze 42 ready to push out the Tommies. Yes, certainly going to be fun for me. Taking some P at fire already while Stormtroopers are moving in as well. Shooting at the hedge, although no damage, at least discernible. Stormtroopers leading the charge, and a glider is going in right behind my. MG42 and my pack, Sten guns blazing away, instantly killing the troops manning the support weapons, much to my sadness. Stu42 forced to pull back and the commandos are finding themselves in a spot of trouble as well as they are now running into commandos and a Stu42, although now the stormtroopers are forced to pull back, no, completely wiped out, although and not a favorable exchange, only one commando down to a bundle grenade, a bit foolish of me. Stu42 opening fire and killing one commando again. And a forced retreat on the commandos. Infantry sections moving ahead. Going to run right into the Stu42. And no real anti-tank assets that can deal with it safely. Stu42 continuing to cause losses and Oh, using a entire infantry section to man a pack, certainly not good, not good. And only two men left on that exchange, in fact. And there we go, 405 manpower completely out the window. And now the pack has been destroyed, and a vet free lieutenant certainly going to be advantageous to the British. British Grenadiers marching ahead. A Bren gun left behind, I not see it. Tragically, otherwise it could certainly have been a good boost to my troops. Stu 42 opening fire. Causing some losses on the bridges, or not at all. Apparently the Stu commander has had a bit too much to drink. Decoy smoke going down. Compelling a retreat list, I want to suffer. Ridiculous losses. Nothing happens, of course. That's the beauty of the decoy artillery battery. Barrage, you can make the enemy believe there is a one, and then of course on s at some point you throw in a real one, causing a complete mess. 17 pounder going up to cover the entrance, although I'll be able to see it, and causing heavy la losses to the sappers, and of course forcing him to stop the construction. Further, our two shells flying in, stormtroopers coming caught out in the open, bouncing grenade going off, and hopefully retreating, yes. And making it out this time, just barely in fact. Grenadiers holding the rear area, Stu 42 killing 6 British troops, sending them flying in all directions, no survivors, no wounded, just hot death. And looks like a burn gunner has completely snapped under the pressure and is just firing madly. Stu 42 trying to do some damage, finding themselves under heavy fire but Firing back in kind, causing absolutely no casualties. And it's now out of control, a bit foolish by me, I'm afraid. Pioneers moving ahead. Grenadiers 
ba badly wounded. And the Stu 42 is just firing as much as it can before it's dying, hoping to take something with it to its to grave. No luck. And how is my situation? MG42 secured and a second Stu to replace the first one. More assault howitzers on the field. Forces are ready for blitz. And I've gone for the Blitzkrieg, and you sh might, might be wondering why, and not for the ti uh, Tiger. And that's because I'm going for the Blitz resources. Meaning I'll be able to quickly get a lot of manpower in exchange for munitions, and seeing as I have most of the map, that's certainly going to be a bit easier. Stormtroopers smoking up and marching ahead. Finding themselves right in the front of the MG42 and right next to the Stu 42. Pioneers pulling back the MG42. Commandos finding themselves facing a rather irate assault howitzer, causing heavy casualties, even driving out some of the commandos. In fact, squishing them, suffering engine damage from the Piat fire, forced to pull away. And now a game of cat and mouse begins. Lieutenant and Piat gunners moving in after the Stu 42, and I only have a little time to try and rush in any infantry yeah? to save it, otherwise, it's going to be a heavy loss already early on as the assault gun is forced to pull back. Piat gunners continually fangs, managing absolutely no hits, much to my relief. Second infantry team moving in. Grenadiers moving in to try and cover the Stu 42, which is now banging away. Frontal armor offering some protection, and the sappers are finding themselves pul pelted with assault grenades, causing a retreat before they are completely wiped out. MG 42 on the field alongside the stormtroopers. Not at full strength, I don't really have much resources for that. Just need to keep the British pinned in within that little area which I've so far been able to do, albeit at high losses. And so far the Stu-42 is the only real equalizer at this moment, since while some of its shots will completely fail to do anything, when it does hit a blob there is a nice chance it's going to cause a lot of losses. And thankfully this player is quite the blobber. Stu 42 hitting again, only one loss this time though, still going to be costly to these commandos. Another commando goes down, broken, his body lies among the wheat. I'm sure there could be a nice poem in there somewhere, awfully tragic and all that. Slit trench filled with parts of truck and old wall. Certainly not going to be fun to be hiding in. Wreckage of half tracks and stew remnants of further assault slice everywhere. And a second casualty clearing station is up. Further movement from yeah. my combined it's grenadier and stormtrooper force. Fresh I'm pioneers here. alongside the MG42 team moving in as well. And not entirely sure what I'm going to do with all my resources. In fact, hopefully I have a plan somewhere. Although so far this has mostly just been concerned with keeping up the pressure on the bridge, which is certainly a good idea when you're dealing with something like this, as if they do gain too much, what I like to call critical mass, they're going to be very hard to hold back. Stormtroopers sneaking in, something the S Waffen SS troops were in fact quite good at. The 12th SS, for example, being quite known at allowing the enemy columns to move in between them and then when a certain part of the column had entered, they'd spring their ambush, hitting from all sides. Commanders now moving out, probably going to seize this victory point unbeknownst. Of course, that a stormtrooper squad is after them. Artillery rush hitting, possibly. Stu 42 being repaired. Decoy barrage once more. And the commandos are moving for the victory point, of course, unknown that a stormtroopers are stalking them. Stu 42 holding their line, storm, assault phase going up. And we have a stack hound, meaning a armored command truck is there. Leaving my Stu 42 in a bit of a pinch, but going for the manpower blitz, I call in a second stormtrooper squad and Stu 42 which is actually able to do some damage against the stack and armored cars while they're not 
that great at penetrating any sort of armor. Thankfully, armored cars do not have a lot of armor, meaning a howitzer shell won't have a much the problem there. So I suddenly have a small assault howitzer battery, able to provide some measure of artillery fire, albeit a lot more direct. Stormtroopers stalking the still the commandos. Grenadiers holding out, waiting for something. And these stormtroopers are going after the lieutenant who is now forced to retreat. Stu 42 moving in from one side, stormtrooper from the other. Commandos in the middle. And now they are finding themselves faced with the stormtroopers. And the stormtroopers launch a bundle grenade, causing little damage. Stackhound suffering how it's a fire and a stormtrooper squad is once more down and looks like we've also lost an MG42 at this moment. And this is indeed quite costly for me, I'm afraid. And we have a continual attempt at tracking down these commandos who are now trying to lay down a demolition charge. And here's a handy little trick with the Stu 42. If you ever spot them doing that, just throw down a ground attack right near the demolition charge. The demolition charge will go off and the commandos will be splattered everywhere. Never fails. We have a Sherman Firefly dashing inwards. The British having a thing for the stuffing the 17 pounder gun on every piece of armor vehicle they can get away with. How would the shell missing magnificently right into a hedge? Not entirely sure how it did that. Firefly hunting down this dude, finding himself faced with a Panzer Shrek, which hits short. <coughs> MG42 just firing away for no other apparent reason than some peace of mind for the gunner. Infantry section dashing ahead. Panzer Shrek connecting with the Firefly and MG42 suppressing the brand gunners. 242 holding back since there's nothing much can do. And a pack is being produced now that I actually know I have to face some armor. Ready. Stu 42 moving ahead to try and keep the infantry down and protect my grenadiers. Some inf British troops are dying, but not a lot. Stormtroopers moving in. Panzer Shrek upgrade cloaks as well, and Stu 42 will have to move in as well soon, possibly to try and conduct a pincer maneuver on the British forces since I do have these areas. Firefly is suffering pack fire, and is Stormtrooper sneaking in with the Panzer Shrek target in mind, that highly damaged German Firefly. Stu 42 on the left is going to act as the diversion for the infantry, allowing my stormtroopers to move in safely. And it looks like the British are going for another 17 pounder gun to try and cover their tracks. Stormtrooper Panzer Shrek knocking out the Firefly. And moving in from both sides now. That should be soon. 17 pounder going up. Panzer Shrek hitting it. Stu 42 firing off as well. The 17 pounder gun hasn't turned to face it, but now is just as a second Stu 42 is moving in from the north. Conducting small pencil maneuver. Second Stu shell flying in and completely wrecks the 17 pounder gun, removing the principal anti tank assets for the British, forcing a full rout since they can't damage the Stu 42s anymore from range with those PS. territory. <laughs> 